Hi, my name is Shikang. Kang. Today we'll be clearing stage one, which is the quadratic equations. So there are three types of roots, and uh, we'll be learning about three types of roots and their general interpretations. So before, before we find the type of root, we need to find the disc discriminant first. Um, so how would you find the discriminant? It's by using this formula, b squared minus 4ac. So this came from the quadratic formula that you have been learning in school. So there are three scenarios for the discriminant. So first, it may be more than zero. So there will be two real roots. So how the graph will look like will be like this. So there will be two intersections with the axis. Okay. So how about when the discriminant is equal to zero? So in this case, we will have two equal roots, meaning that the graph will intersect the axis at one point only. So it will look like this. So how about when the discriminant is less than zero? So in this case, there will be no real roots, meaning that the graph will not intersect any axis, and it's, it will be floating. So here are the three graphs that I have drawn. Okay. So let's start to level up our skills. So for level one, let's tackle these three questions. So what is the nature of the roots of the following equations. So for the first part, we have 5x squared minus 3x plus 6. So first, we need to find the discriminant, which is b squared minus 4ac. So the discriminant for the first part would be negative 3 squared minus 4 times 5 times 6. So you will get that the discriminant is equal to negative 111, which is less than 0. So this means that the quadratic equation has no real roots. Okay, then for part B, we have 3x squared minus 5x minus 1. So let's find a discriminant for this question again. So it will be negative 5 squared minus 4 times 3 times negative 1. And you will get it to be equals to... 33, which is more than 0. So there will be two real roots. For the last part, we have x squared minus 8x plus 16. So same thing, we'll find the discriminant. which is equals to negative 8 squared minus 4 times 1 times 16. And you will find it to be equals to 0. So here we have one real root. So great, we cleared the first level. So let's proceed to the second level. Okay, so now we are at the second level. So for this, we have the equation 4x squared minus 3 plus m times x plus 1. And the question says that it has two real roots. So now, let's make use of the discriminant to find an inequality. So here, there's a link to the chapter inequality. Yeah. So, so let's use the discriminant, which is...
which is negative 3 plus m squared minus 4 times 1 times 4. For this, first, you can expand the 3 plus m squared. And take note that when negative is squared, it becomes positive. So it's just 3 plus m squared. Minus 16. So let's expand 3 plus m squared, which gives you 9 plus 6m plus m squared minus 16. After that, you can simplify further and you have this equation. So since we know that this quadratic equation has two real roots, so it means that the discriminant must be more than zero. So we have this inequality here. So by factorizing the uh, quadratic equation we have there. Let's try to factorize. We have m plus 7 times m minus 1, more than 0. So now we have this inequality. So let's solve the inequality by drawing a horizontal line with 1 and negative 7 on the axis. So the quadratic graph will look like this. And for the value to be more than 0, the values of m has to be more than 1 or m has to be less than 7. So these are the two possible values for m. And congratulations, we have cleared level 2. So let's move on even further to level 3. So now we arrive at the final level of this stage. So for this, we have the equation x squared plus 3x plus k equals to 0, where k is a constant, and it has no real roots. And now we have to determine the nature of roots of x squared minus 3x minus k. So first, we will use our most powerful weapon, which is to find the discriminant. which is equals to b squared minus 4ac. So for this case, it will be 3 squared minus 4 times 1 times k, which gives you 9 minus 4k. So since the equation has no real roots, we know that the discriminant is less than 0. So we have 9 minus 4k less than 0, and solving the inequality, we get that 4k would be more than 9, and k would be more than 9 out of 4. So next, let's focus on x squared minus 3x minus k. So for this same thing, we will do that. We will find the discriminant also. So discriminant would be negative 3 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative k, which gives you 9 plus 4k. So now, comparing this, comparing the two results that we have so far, we can say that since k is more than 9 over 4, and the discriminant of x squared minus 3x minus k is 9 plus 4k, so we, will, we know that 9 plus 4k is definitely more than 0 because k is a positive number. So now, we can say that the equation has two real roots. So congratulations, we have come to the end of stage 1.